Hi and very welcome to my channel. I'm Dr. Shafi, Assistant Professor of Neurology at Kermon University of Medical Sciences. And in this topic, I like to speak about a spirograph in tremor. Uh, when you are going to approach tremor, it's mo a mo it might look like complicated, but overall tremor, as you know, is divided into resting tremor or action tremor, and action tremor is divided to postural or kinetic tremor and intentional tremor. This is a complicated uh, uh, graph, but uh, as many other parts of neurology, you have to count on your neurological examination skills. And uh, for tremor, I found that the spiral drawing has many helpful uh, powers to distinguish between different types of uh, kinetic tremors. And in this video, I'm going to show you how you can use it to expand your differential diagnosis. They not only aid you to diagnose of tremor disorder, but also can contribute to its longitudinal monitoring and uh, follow up of, of your patients. I provide, uh, I try to provide practical point for four uh, type of tremor that I found very common in my uh, office visit, Parkinsonian, dystonic, essential, and functional tremor. My topic include uh, how you you should look at hand posture and movement during drawing, how to draw a standard spirals for tremor, and I try to provide you some examples of my patients on different abnormal spirals. So first of all, about hand postures, you know that uh, tree pot posture is very common among many cultures, and we use three fingers. Uh, it changes during this tonic tremor and in, if you found that the hand posture is abnormal the first thing you have you have to keep in your mind is that it's this tonic tremor and interestingly uh, during the task the, this bad posture worsening as shown in these pictures during handwriting actually you can see that how bad posture this tonic imposed on the dominant hand and your patient unable to draw or write. Besides the dominant hand, you have to look at another hand and or non-dominant hand because sometimes you can see overflowing and or minor movements and it's a critical point to look at another hand during the writings. It gives you much more information that you need. Uh, like any other aspects of Parkinsonian syndrome, bradykinesia uh, could be picked up during spiral driving. And as you can see in these two videos, uh, Parkinson disease a patient has slower drawing during uh, spirals. So uh, keep in mind that your spiral should be in 10 in 10 centimeters and has ter three turns and ask your patient to draw two spirals with each hand. And uh, the th uh, characteristic that you look for uh, to in your spirals is a spiral size uh, is that your spiral is symmetric or asymmetric and ex uh, tremor axis this one is very important this picture shows that in parkinsonian disease on parkinson disease uh, the uh, spiral size is smaller than normal and even smaller than essential tremor essential tremor spirals uh, even is bigger than normal. Uh, like other characteristics of tremor, uh, a spiral can show you that is tremor uh, in is in one hand or in two hand, and is that uh, symmetric, symmetric or asymmetric, as shown in this picture and drawing. Uh, this is a spiral from Parkinson's disease, and you can see that the right hand shows the. A tremor on the spiral and left hand is less has less tremor than right one. But 
uh, maybe a tremor axis is the most helpful characteristic of spirals because in essential tremor uh, there are often an axis uh, in tremor as shown in this picture for left hand it's uh, from uh, 10 o'clock to 4 and uh, for right hand from 8 to 2 it's always the same as any time your essential tremor draw a spiral so you can find that this axis and it's very important to differentiate between essential tremor and Parkinsonian tremor uh, back to dystonic tremor dystonic tremor is asymmetric tremor and during as uh, task is goes you can this is you can see bad postures and uh, and asymmetric and jerky movements during a spirals and it's asymmetric and as the task goes on you, you can see how tremor get worsen and in the uh, in these spirals in for the static tremor it in this picture shows it very well uh, so about functional tremor, there are two, uh, few po points. Uh, the first one is that tremor axis is variable, and as I shown in this picture, the tremor in the inner circles are has a different uh, axis compared to the outer ones. And if you ask your patient to do uh, a, a spiral driving in another directions. You can you might find that uh, tremor changes in characteristics. Uh, both uh, upper and lower spirals are from right hands, and you, know, you can see that when patient asks to draw it uh, clockwise, it's different from that when you ask him or ask her to draw it counterclockwise. Uh, and again, the variability that. Uh, functional tremor has different variable uh, your tremor has different axis and different uh, frequency and amplitude in any time that your patient tried to uh, draw a spirals so this is uh, what I've got and hopeful uh, and hope that you can find some points in this spirography and please leave your uh, comments down below and Again, thanks for watching. Have a good day.